What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most A for yellow R32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. We are getting closer and closer to 1,100, ladies and gentlemen. We have been on the grind with making videos, so make sure that you're hitting that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell so that you're up to date with all of our videos. So with the release of the new band list and everything, I haven't had time to go over this new uh, dinosaur support, which actually seems kind of disgusting. And I really like what they did with retraining these old normal monsters. Um, one of them being Frostosaurus, which I remember playing in one of my first ever decks, which is basically a beatdown deck, but my dad and I called it an attack deck. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was just high attack monsters. We used things like Frostosaurus, using ancient rules to cheese out Frostosaurus. It was good old times. So this is the Earth Shattering Might of the Transcendrakes. Now this is out of a Duelist pack in the OCG. DBWS, I know that's Duelist pack something. I don't remember what that stands for. So let me know in the comments if you happen to know the name. So these are the Transcendrakes, which basically literally... Uh, translates to terror dragon but they're called xeno meteor meteoros in like english kind of so we're, we're just going to go with that so the first monster we got here is xeno meteoros is a level six fire dinosaur tuner effect monster 2000 attack 200 defense so it's 200 defense so you can rekindling this out that's disgusting you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn if a card or cards is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent, and worm monsters. Yeah, that's definitely not a setback. Also, destroy one dinosaur monster you control or in your hand, then special summon one dinosaur normal monster from your hand or deck. This literally just says, I trigger Petrodon and Baby Sarasaurus and get you to game. <laughs> like... This this is disgusting. Being able to special summon a dinosaur normal monster from the hand or deck you would think is not very good, but keep in mind, like, Rescue Rabbit's a thing. You know, if you were around in the days of Dino Rabbit, this, these new support monsters basically make Dino Rabbit 2.0. Like, Dino Rabbit becomes, like, actually a really good deck again with this new support, I feel. Next up here, we have a Transcendrake Meteoros. Level 12. This thing's a big boy. Fire Dinosaur Special Summon Effect Monster. 3,500 attack, 700 defense. Can I just say how dope this artwork looks? Um, it can't be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned by a card effect. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's names once per turn. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can destroy two other dinosaur monsters you control and or in your hand. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. So on a 3,500 beat stick, you have a quick effect to summon this thing out. So if you pop like a baby Sarasaurus or even two copies of that, you can get out like Ultimate Conductor and like all these other things. This seems really good. If this card's special summon, you can send a dinosaur monster from your deck to the grave. That's not terrible because you can literally just dump Miscellaneous Saurus. If this card's destroyed, you can shuffle a normal monster from your graveyard into the deck. Then you can special summon this card. So that's on a once per turn. So the opponent basically has to, I guess in theory, Lightning Storm you twice to get rid of this. The, this seems really damn good. Like, I'm not going to lie. And it's 3,500. Next up here, we have this big boy, Transcendrake Giganto Zaller, which is actually a retrain of the vanilla monster. Uh, I think it's called Mega Zaller. It's like a 2,000 attack level 6 vanilla. Look at this artwork. Like, this is this is a big chungus among us. Like, th this is dope. Like, this is why Konami needs to do, like, full card artwork. Like, this this is cool. This is really cool. So, it's a level 12 Earth Dinosaur Fusion Effect Monster, 3,800 attack and 2,000 defense. Requires one dinosaur monster plus any normal monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card special summon, you can target one dinosaur monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. That seems disgusting. Then if this card was special summoned from the grave, you can destroy one card you control or in your hand and one card your opponent controls. So again, literally, if you have Petrodon or Baby Sarasaurus, you can just pop one of those, pop a card on the opponent's field. Baby Sarasaurus gets you to like Lithogasm now that that's at three, which I think because of this new dinosaur support is why they put Lithogasm at three, or you can get out UTC, something like that. If this card's destroyed, you can shuffle a normal monster from your grave into the deck, then you can special summon this card. This card's based on Mega Zaller, as it says. This card seems really good. I wish it had, almost kind of wish it had like some sort of Omni Negate. Because you would think with like a big Chungus like this, like it would be like an Omni Negate, but it's not. It's just basically like, I would argue like an OTK enabler card. Like I'm not saying it's bad. 
but you know you would expect one of these big boss monsters to be like a negate and it's not next up here we have a retrain of frostosaurus so this is transcendrate glace source it's 3600 attack 2700 defense level 12 water dinosaur synchro monster requires one tuner plus one of non tuners you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn it can't be destroyed by battle i mean at 3600 you would expect that your opponent cannot target your dinosaur monster especially from the graveyard with card effects also they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects so just giving even more protection to your fucking dinosaurs if this card's destroyed you can shuffle a normal monster from your grave into the deck then you could special summon this card makes me wonder how many vanillas you're going to play like are we going to play like the six card package of like three caboozles and three saber swords with three rescue rabbit for this type of dinosaur deck or are we just going to like mix in some random like twin-headed king rex or yurabi like vanillas to play these cards uh next up is transcendrake drill gathness which is based on lance Fanonculus, which is actually kind of cool 3,000 attack, 2,600 defense, rank 6, wind, dinosaur, disease, effect, monster, 2 level 6 monster, so it's generic. Also, you can use by steals, which is fucking hilarious. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can detach one material from this card, then target one of your banished dinosaur monsters, special summon it. Um, so getting back misc, thank you. Uh, if this card with no materials battles another monster, any battle damage it inflicts your opponent is doubled. That seems kind of good. Uh, if this card's destroyed, you can shuffle a normal monster from your grave into the deck, then you can special summon this card. That seems pretty good. Ground Zeno. Huh, see what you did there. Normal spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Add one dinosaur tuner or dinosaur normal monster from your deck to your hand, then destroy one card in your hand. So, again, Petrodon or Baby Sarasaurus, anyone? Like, hello? You can banish this card from your graveyard. Fusion summon one dinosaur fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. The fact that when this is in your grave, and you can use that banishing fusion effect the same turn that you use its first effect seems really disgusting and then of course the reprinting things like frost stores misc over raptor like all of the dinosaur stuff they're also reprinting soul dumb. i'm surprised that they're not reprinting like lagi or dolka although maybe the ocg already did I, i'm gonna laugh my ass off if like as like a collector's rare we get a collector's rare frostosaurus i don't think konami is really pinning on the fact that you're going to be playing like these high level vanillas i think that they're going to expect people are going to play like triple caboozles or cabazals however the hell you want to pronounce it triple saber source with like the triple dino rabbit play like maybe some evil sore uh exceeds and then just use those good generic normal monsters to shuffle those back into the deck to make your other rescue rabbits live to make these big guys um it's also going to be interesting to see too if like dinosaur players use like their regular just utc otk builds um you know with like scrap raptor and things like that and then maybe implement like a garnet in the form of like a frostosaurus or like a mega zaller like even though it's a normal monster it's a garnet because it's just a vanilla that doesn't do anything so I, i'm not gonna lie i really don't know much about dinos outside of misc is discussing af um so if you're a dino main or if you just know something about this stuff that i'm just totally missing to me this just screams petrodon and baby sarasaurus support big time also misc protecting these things seems really disgusting so guys let me know what you think about this new support is there something i'm missing i'm really curious to know like what the dino dna community has to think because they always seem to be cooking up something this stuff really does seem disgusting like i'm not being hyperbolic this stuff especially this level 12 fire dinosaur it, it seems really good and this level six i'm pretty sure you can cheat it out with rekindling since it has 200 defense so yeah it, it seems really good guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments and i will see you in the next video